A vengeful fairy is driven to curse an infant princess, only to discover that the child could be the one person who can restore peace to their troubled land. Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review, and this time it's on the movie Maleficent. Mal... I'm sorry I did that again. Maleficent. I even have problems trying to say it, say the name of the movie properly. And as I was watching the movie, I was like, okay, that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. That's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Because I need to make sure I got the right pronunciation when I went to do this. Maleficent. Anyhow, it was, this movie came out back in 2014. It was nominated for one Oscar. It had another 12 wins and another 44 nominations. And the main cast in this is Angelina Jolie, Ellie Fanning, Shorty Copley, Leslie Manville, Imelda Staunton, Juno Temple, Sam Wiley, Brenton Schwartz, Kenneth Cranham, Sarah Flynn, Hannah New, Isabel Morley, Michael Higgins, Ella Purnell, Jackson Bues, Angus Wright, Oliver Maltman, and Gary Cargill. Gary Cargill? Cargill? Something like that. Oh, right. So, <laughs> my thoughts on this movie. What do I think about this? Is it great? Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, let's go over everything, shall we? Uh, first of all, I gotta mention this, and it's probably the first thing I should mention, is the cast, the acting. I think they all did a phenomenal job. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. And An Angelina Jolie finally proves to us that she can act. I personally think she's a good actress. She just, she just had the warm picks of to be in what movie type thing because to be honest whole movies before this and after this eh, uh, she did the first two movies of Lara Croft Tomb Raider and for what it's worth I think she did a good job in those movies I don't the main problems with those movies, main issues, I don't think lies on the acting. I, To me personally, it lies on the story. It does. The, the plot and and how it's written. I don't care for those the I don't care for those Lara Croft movies that she was in, but to say that I hid her in those movies, I don't think I hid her. I think I actually did like her. She just fell short when she picked the wrong movies to be in. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I think she did a good job in that movie. That was her and Brad Pitt. I thought that movie was actually not that bad. Uh, Salt. Oh, God, I remember that movie. Uh, no, just no. And once again, I don't think, uh, looking back, Back at that movie, I don't think that was her fault. It was just bad plot, badly written, if you will. Yeah. So once, it, but anyhow, I personally think she's a good actress. She just, like I said, fell short by picking the wrong things to be in. But she finally picked big this time uh, because she proved to us in this one that she can act. That she's an amazing actress. An amazing actress. And to boo, alongside her is Ellie Fanning. I've come to know Ellie Fanning within the past decade as an actress. And before the, the past decade, I kind of knew her sister, Dakota Fanning. Yeah, that's why right. Fanning uh, is a family of actors. Uh, however, the the mom and the father was not actors. 
I, I did. I, I want to make sure that I got the white po person. Considering it's like. Before I went to do this, I was like, okay, is she related to Dakota Fanning? And I go and I search and yeah, yeah they are related. The sisters. Yeah. And which one is a better actress? I'd have to say Ellie Fanning. Don't get me wrong, I think Dakota Fanning, at one certain point, she was amazing. She was everywhere. But have we really heard anything about her since then? Not really, not really. Anyhow, I think the rest of the cast did a great job, but they are the two that stand out to me the most. Angelina Jolie and Ellie Fanning. They did such an amazing job. Such an amazing job. Oh, right. Moving on to other aspects. The graphics. For its time. And type. 2014. I have to say it was actually great graphics. Great graphics to the eye. And it is an action movie nonetheless. There are some action parts. Not too many. But there are a few, and to be honest, when there was action, I'd say the action was actually very good. It was very well choreographed. Very well choreographed. Now, over to the last aspect. The story. What did I think about the story? I think it actually had a good plot. A good plot. But that's it. It's nothing great. It's nothing bad. But that being said. That being said. The way that it was written. The way that it was terminated. It was well done. In that way. In that aspect. Oh my god. And that's what kind of blew me away too. How it was written. The dialogue scenes. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Yeah, and there is one other thing I need to uh, address, which I normally tend to forget in movies, the soundtrack. I was paying attention this time around. While I was watching the movie, I was, I was also trying to listen to the soundtrack, to the music in the background. And what did I think about it? Nothing too memorable. But at the same time, nothing bad. I think the soundtrack was actually good. It was good. That was it. Oh, wait. So IMDb with all the users combined gives this movie a 6.9 out of 10. What do I think? I actually disagree with the rating. I do. And I'm going to majorly up it. I love this movie to bits. And... I give this none other than a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. That's my rating. I love this movie. Love, 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 love. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you love this movie or did not love this movie, again, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. I always love your comments whether you love the movie or hate it. You can like this video, like this review, and you can subscribe to my channel if you love my content. So thank you all for taking time to watch and join me next time for another movie review I tend to do soon. I am out.